The Kanjali is depicted as a modern light tank with a similar build to the Rhino tank, but using what appears to be a stealth body. The tank appears to be based on the PL-01 Polish light tank, evident by the overall shape and purpose. The front of the hull uses various modern lamps on the center and on the edges, while the top area assumes a wedge-shaped profile with access hatches for the driver and a front occupant. The sides have various armor panelings covering most of the tracks. Unlike the Rhino, the Kanjali features fully rendered interiors, the front compartments have several instruments and display screens derived from vehicles like the FH-100 and the Akula. The vehicle is equipped with a tank cannon and a remote machine gun turret resembling a Browning M2 HB 50 caliber machine gun. The Kanjali has the same durability as the Rhino in stock form. However, armor upgrades can prove to be extremely beneficial for the vehicle allowing it to survive nearly twice the amount of explosives than the Rhino. A Kanjali is a type of double-edged dagger with a single offset groove on each face of the blade. The vehicle would have originally been named Panther at some point during development. One large advantage of the Kanjali over the Rhino is that it can reliably crush and drive over cars without them exploding due to the lighter weight, which won't cause self-damage and allow the Kanjali to be used without having to worry about explosions from other cars crushed under the tank. The tank is powered by two diesel engines, and the engine sound is the same as the ones from the Phantom Custom and the Hauler Custom. The Kanjali has access to a variety of weapons that are assigned to each occupants, making a devastating vehicle when fully occupied. The vehicle has the option for installing proximity mines, which behave the same as any remote explosive and are operated by the driver. These mines are a bit stronger than their handheld counterparts and are also limited to five active mines. Caution should be taken when using it, as it can potentially damage or destroy the vehicle.